In part one of my two part series, I was able to get a lot done. I built a garage and found a nice car to park inside. I researched a lot of the BPs I would need for next wife, but the grind for scrap had only just begun. But before we continue, the base needed a little bit of reorganizing. And I just want to thank you guys for the recent support on my channel. For a while there, I was posting to a small group of people that basically lived in a ghost town. If you like this type of content, then you're a lot like me. And for that reason, I cherish every single last one of you. So thank you. After adding some stone to my TC, I decided to take the rest of the stone and add another layer of honeycomb to the outside of the bunker. My goal here is to discourage any raiders in hopes that they would choose to take the path of the doors. As you guys know, that would be an incredibly difficult raid. I really want a mixing table. That'd be pretty cool if I can get one. Another SMG body? That's pretty big, man. And a green card? While roaming around with a freshly crafted SAR, I encountered some fellow roamers. Some of you might already know this. I'm not a big fan of the take your neighbor stuff type of gameplay, but if the PvP presents itself, I'm not gonna shy away. I didn't expect to get attacked by this boar. Oh my god. Bro. Nor what this guy. You? you were camping, that's what oh happened, bro. God, I'm so sorry, Orange. It's okay, man. I understand. You, you, you're right, but why is the boar attack you? Yeah, but come help me camp and I give you shit, bro. Oh, it's okay, buddy. I'm just I was just coming for a green card. It's all good, man. You can kill me. Or uh, it's okay. Don't waste your bullets. You, by the way. It's all good. I don't wanna kill you. Don't worry, don't worry. There's never a green card in here, ever. I, I know, it's so garbage. Yeah, dude. One in every, like, 20 times I come here. Alright. Alright, man. I'm gonna remember you, dude. Later in the wipe, if you want to do something, I'll just I'll just see you back here. Oh. Alright, man. Okay. That's a new lives. Alright, buddy. Have a good one, man. Yep. In the chaotic world of Rust, it's always nice to meet down-to-earth people. So, gas station guy, if you ever see this, stay cool, my dude. What's up, buddy? I'm not gonna kill you, man. What's up? I'm just roaming. Oh my god. Dude, that guy scared the crap out of me. Alright, now we got a mixing table coming up, so we'll be able to start making some cheese.
I'm gonna do satellite dish. It's kind of out of the way, so I'm gonna put on some warmer clothes here. Can't wait to get the garage door, man. So I made my way to Satellite Dish in hopes of a blue card because then I could do a blue card monument for much better loot. I would do water treatment right now, but I need to depot first. I don't have any space. Dude, I would love to counter that right now, but I don't want to lose this blue card. After depositing my loot from Satellite Dish, I arrived at water treatment. I was hoping for a smooth blue card puzzle, but you don't always get what you want. There's three guys right here, three guys there. Or a solo lurking in the shadows, the underground train routes are a perfect way to get a lot of loot really quickly. As you guys know, this isn't the first time I've been down this pipe, and it won't be the last. You do whatever it takes to get those precious CPs. I'd run out of 556, and I had only one arrow left that had this scientist's name all over it. Oh, wait, I might be able to stop by. Next stop is Outpost. I have no ammo. Zero. I have ammo, but it's not 556, so this is kind of rough. I'm gonna try to slip in and go upstairs. Yes, dude. Oh my god. Let's get ourselves some stuff researched. From that one run, I was able to bring home over 800 scrap safely. Let me go ahead and research some of the stuff that I have.
I had gone underground numerous times after that successful run in hopes of another victory, but a victory didn't present itself. Other solos would have no choice but to sit on their hands and hope something shows up. But me? I just hop in the car. Oh wow, so much better than before, dude. We got it. We got wood. We got some scrap. There we go. With a little extra metal, some gears, and the garage door BP, I slowly started replacing sheet metal doors with garage doors. After a long break and a coffee refill, I was ready to go underground again, and I was determined this time would be different. God, yes. It's another big run. This is beautiful, man. This is beautiful. Give me scrap. Hey, stop researching. You're making me mad.
Let's go. After sending over the most important items to base, I took the same path back home, but in the riskiest way. Sometimes, in Rust, you just have to take chances, and when they work out, they end up being the biggest wins. Oh man, dude, I'm so looted. Look at this. Made it back though. Oh yes. It was time to set up the large furnace base, so I did some stone mining, grabbed a business plan and a hammer, and got to work. When it comes to building, forget the rules, play it by ear, use your creativity, and try to come up with the most unique style of base that you can. In my case, I wouldn't have it any other way. It's one of the most enjoyable aspects of the game. The more complicated, the better. And just like that, I had a safe and secure large furnace base. My favorite part of the large furnace base is the fact that it's connected. So I'm never at risk when I grab my resources. And that right there, that's an amazing feeling. Okay, nice. So, base is looking interesting. <laughs> A lot going on. Got the uh, furnace going, so that's good. Try to stack up on um, resources while I have this tea in my body. So that maybe I won't have to do farming for a while. It was time to do some spring cleaning, so I grabbed some stone and as many items as I could carry on my body for recycling. The less clutter, the better. We got some stuff we're gonna recycle, some more low grade here, and bring back some wood. Got the car all fixed up, no damage, perfect. It's a weird drive, but let's get to it.
Uh, no, not fertilizer, man. Just cloth. What'd you say? I have cloth. Not fertilizer. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, now you're good. Go ahead. All right. You can have this, man. If you want to sell it or... It's up to you, bro. Right, thank you, man. Yep. Oh, thank you. No problem. Okay, 800 scrap. I'll take that, man. Excuse me, sir. Let's get out of here. Let's go home. Search some stuff, man. We got this. We got this. What we got going on here? After setting up my lockers, I went out for some farming, but encountered this guy. As you can see, the shots were a complete mess. But to my luck, he happened to come right by my base. I mean, that was an easy Tommy, dude. Easy Tommy. I have to get that research. I don't have that research. I had a feeling the guy had come back, so I went on my roof to check it. To my surprise, he was there. When you're a solo like me, you tend to rely heavily on yourself, but sometimes a tag team with a shotgun trap can completely destroy you. Okay. I'm gonna go do satellite dish and I'm gonna hope that guy doesn't try to raid me. I wanna do satellite dish and then water treatment. Maybe on the way back, it'd be kinda cool. On my way to satellite dish, I found this guy finishing off a raid. So I decided to sneak in.
Okay, I'm gonna try to go straight to water treatment right now. Let's see how it goes. The server's pretty active, so it's really up in the air. Oh God. Oh god, let's go, let's go. Okay, alright, let my heart stop racing for a second. We just did two monuments in a row. How crazy is that? I'm gonna research the Tommy. Okay, nice. After completing both monuments, I made my way back home, completely satisfied with the amount of scrap I had collected this wipe. I had researched everything that I needed for next wipe, and believe me when I say this, but next wipe? Next wipe's gonna be extraordinary. See you then.